Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, AB Box. Before coming to our topic, let me introduce you to Broiler Deck Farming. Same as broiler chickens, broiler deck also have its own rank in the poultry industry. In India, the wholesale rate for 1 kg of broiler deck is Rs. 150 to 180 and the retail price is Rs. 220 to 280. While coming to the broiler duck farming, a broiler duck will take 40 to 45 days for achieving its target weight of 2 to 2.5 kg. For 5 to 7 days from the day old, brooding should be provided. After the brooding, we can transfer the ducklings from the brooder to the farm. During the brooding period, it's better to feed them with the pre-startup feed. In order to achieve this weight, for the first 25 days from the day old, it should feed on broiler starter feed and for the remaining days, it should feed on broiler finisher feed. After achieving its target weight, it's ready for commercial sale. The profit after the sale is approximately Rs 100 to 150 per bird, depending upon the form of sale, that is, whether it is in the form of livestock or in the form of meat. So, Let's come to today's topic. So here we are going to talk about how to select the parent stock uh, from a group of uh, broiler ducks. When sexing or vending is one of the ways to identify the sex of the broiler ducks, but it may cause harm to the ducklings if it is done by an unexpert person. So this is the second method to uh, determine the sex of the broiler ducks. And in this method, we can identify the female ducks through its sound. You can hear that the sound is almost very hard and it is louder than a male sound. The male and the male, uh, we can see a curved tail on its back. This won't be seen in a female uh, broiler duck. And the sound will be very low as you see here. So this is my parent stock. Uh, it is a test batch which consists of 12 females and 4 males. Uh, we should keep a male to female ratio of 1 is to 3 where 3 females are kept for a single male. After the selection of the parent stock, it will take 6 months of time for laying the eggs. So up to 5 months we should feed them with the grower feed. After that we should feed them with the layer feed. The quantity of the grower feed is 150 gram per duck and we should not exceed that quantity. You can see that the ducks are enjoying the pond and they are swimming in the pond. Uh, the swimming is a good exercise in order to lose their weight and maintain their weight. So we should uh, provide a pond near the farm so we are inside the farm and let's see how many eggs are there in the nest box. Oh wow, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eggs in this nest box. Uh, let's see how many of them are there in the nest, nest box. Oh here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eggs. So we have total of 12 eggs today. So so this is the feed we are giving to the ducks. This is layer feed which is manufactured by the Godrej uh, feed company. Only 150 grams of feed should be given to each duck because if more feeds are given it will increase their body weight and will negatively impact our egg laying. We are collecting the eggs from the next box. 
uh, we have already seven eggs in this nest box so these are the eggs that i have collected today from my farm and uh, we are going to store these eggs to the refrigerator so before storing them uh, we should uh, wash our hands using any alcoholic hand rub uh, so we can prevent a uh, transfer of any germs or uh, fungus uh, like that to the egg we are going to transfer the eggs to the refrigerator so uh, i use the hand rub for uh, cleaning my hands and uh, before placing the eggs to the egg tray or any basin like this we should take the eggs and keep the pointing part of the egg to the bottom side of the basin like this like that we should place all the eggs in the same manner so these are the eggs that I have taken out from the refrigerator in order to transfer them to the hatchery and you can see the condensed water droplets over the eggs you should never swipe them using any clothes or you should never clean them using any clothes because it will remove the waxy coating over the eggs so it will prevent the immunity of the eggs to any germs or any fungus taking the eggs into the hatchery we should uh, take the eggs from the egg basin to an another basin which consists of a paper uh, that uh, can absorb uh, the water over the eggs that means the condensed water over the eggs uh, so uh, we are going to transfer the eggs like this we are not wiping the uh, water drops uh, just keep the x over that paper and let the egg dry itself eggs are ready for transferring into the hatchery uh, you can see that all the eggs uh, are dried and all the water droplets over the eggs have been vaporized so please click on the subscribe button and the notification button so that you will get notified whenever i add new videos to my youtube channel and thank you guys for watching my video